do you think that name is? Shadrach. Shadrach. It's actually the CH is pronounced like a K. So it's Shadrach. You want to go for the next one? Meshach. Meshach? Uh, Abednego. Abednego. See, now a lot of people say Abednego, but it's, but it's not Abednego, it's Abednego. So, like to bed we go. Abednego. Shadrach? Meshach and Abednego. Are we ready to go? We're some ready weird to go. They had, they had some really weird names back then, okay? You know, not like Anaya. That's not a weird name. Or uh, Kaylee. That's not a weird name. Or Josiah. Well, they had, they had the name Josiah back then. That name's right out of the Bible. Aria. That's not a weird name, is it? Favor. That's not a weird name. Kaylee, I always say Kaylee. Kaya, Xander, Oriana, Nathaniel, Levi. Those aren't weird names. David, that's not a weird name. Matthias, that's not a weird name, is it? But they had some weird names back then. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, first of all, who can tell me who Nebuchadnezzar was? The king. The king of where? You got it right. Let me. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar is the king of somewhere. The king of somewhere. Does anybody know where that somewhere is? Favorite you want to give it a shot? Not Judah. Nope. This country came in and they took Judah captive. They took over Judah. And they took all the people away. Does anybody else want to give it a shot? The king Nebuchadnezzar was king of where? No, nope, he wasn't king of Israel. Israel didn't exist anymore. Because another king had already come and taken over them. Okay, Levi. Levi. No more, please. No more. Don't. Here, can I have that, please? Thank you. No more. Okay, so it wasn't Israel, it wasn't Judah, because they disobeyed God. And so they didn't, they had to stop being a country anymore. Because they were disobedient to God. Let me just quick run here and put another name in. He has offering. Okay. See, I got a Bible? No. No Bible. Not today. Not today. Today, today. This is the day that the Lord has made. See, y'all missed that. Oh, I feel a game coming on. I feel the game coming on. Amen. I feel the game coming on. I feel the game coming on. I feel the game coming on. Okay, now, I'm going to give our guest the first shot. Oriana, sweetheart, do you, Oriana? Oriana, do you know your ABCs? Would you like to guess a letter in the ABCs? Do you want to guess one? Yes. Real loud, give me a letter. Well, give me give me one letter. What's your favorite letter? My favorite letter is A. A? Well, guess what? You guessed right. There's an A in this word. Would you like to guess another one? Yes. What would you like to guess? I want to guess some B's. Which one? B. B? Yes. Guess what? You guessed right again. B and a B. Wow. A B. Oh, I know. A B and a B. Let's see. How shall we do this? Eric, I'm going to give you the next guess. A B, a B, a B. Huh? You, you don't want to go? Josiah, would you like to try? T? Is that what said? No T, I'm afraid. No T in the word. Okay, let's see. Let me let me go around. Aria. 
R. No R for aria. Hmm. Let's see, who do we go to next? I'm going to go to favor. Can I guess the word? If you know it. Babylon? Oh. <laughs> okay. Bum, 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 bum. You guessed it. You guessed it right. Maybe. You helped her out though. You gave you gave her the book. You gave her the first three letters. <laughs> All right. Okay. I kept thinking of Babylon. I don't know why. So he was the king of Babylon. Babylon. Babylon was an ancient kingdom. Now, bonus question for, I don't think you younger kids are going to know the answer to this, but you older ones, let's say 10 and up, you older ones, this one's going to go for all those, put your hands up if you're 10 or older, if you're 10, you're not 10, put your hand up, you're not 10, I'm put nine. your hand up, you're what, 11, yeah. 11, you two are 11, all right, so my three 11 year olds, my three 11 year olds, the kingdom of Babylon was an ancient kingdom, but there is a country that exists today that is in the same cities as back then, in the same place as back then. What is that country called today? It used to be called Babylon, but it's got a different name now. Any guesses? See how you guys are in your world history? Xander, do you think you know? You're not 10, but give it a shot. Do you know? No, it's not Israel. It's not Israel. Israel exists today, it's true. Okay, this, this is for 10 and older. This is only for 10 and older. You've been 11 for a little bit. Your birthday was what, March? February. Your birthday was in February. These two just turned 11 this past week. And since Kaya, you're older by a minute, Kaylee gets the first turn. Because Kaylee is the youngest, 10 and older. Kaylee, would you like to guess a letter? Kaya can't give you the answer, otherwise it's her turn. One of 26 letters. You want to guess one? What do you think, Kaylee? Oh, give me any, any letter. Any letter. You got four and 26 chance that it's going to be right. Is that your final answer? Yes. A? Actually, it's correct. Kaya, give me another letter. It's the song. I forgot the name. Isn't it called that's the, th that's the theme to Jeopardy when they're waiting to give the answer. Oh. Oh. Come on, there's 25 letters left. You got three chances of getting it right. Any letters? Any letters? H. H. That's not one of them. Uh, Are you? Uh, what is that that you have? You need to put that away, honey. Okay. Matthias, it comes to you. 
Y... Kaylee, you seem to be the only person good at this, okay? So, I'm going to give you another shot at it. Or would you like Xander to go for you? I know he's itching to go. You want to try one or you want to give it to Xander? Give it to Xander. Xander, one letter. L's not there. 
K is not there. K is not there. All right, I'm going to go through one more time, and then I'm going to give it to you. Um, Quickly. H. H. H is, H is already up there. That was the first letter said. You're going to die when you hear this. You're going to die. You're going to die. When you, when you hear the answer, you're going to die. Seriously. F. F. No, F. M. M. No, M. One last try. O. O. No, O. Bless you. Bless you. Correct. It's pronounced oh, like a, I told you you were going to die. <laughs> because you had the phonetic, the k sound, yeah, when you said k. I was going to say it's, it's actually Iraq. I first thought it was q and then I was like, no, it's You died. You died. Q. No, nobody said q. I saw you. I heard a u. Maria almost said q. I heard a u. You should have just said q. I should have. Okay. I gotta move on because I kind of got off track here. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were best friends. The three of them were best friends. Now they were Hebrews. Do you know who Hebrews were? No. Or a better name, they were Jews. Do you know who Jews were? Yes. yes. Who were Jews? Jews. Go ahead and say it out. They were Jewish. The Jews were the people from Israel and Judah. In this case, they were from Judah, all three of them. And they were friends with a guy named Daniel. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were young men that were taken captive in Judah, and they were taken to Babylon. And with Daniel, together with Daniel, they became rulers. They became in charge of people. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar was a very powerful man, and he had a very powerful ego. Does that, anybody know what that means, that he had an ego? Uh, he liked to get a lot of attention. Everything was about him. He'd walk around, hey, I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm a thing, because I'm the king. Yeah, self-centered. Everything was about him. Now I'm the king. You have to do what I tell you because I'm the king. I'm you, awesome. you know what? No, I think you me. need to die. What? Boom! Because <laughs> I'm the king. That's how it was. And somebody put it in Nebuchadnezzar's head. It would be great to have a statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. And when the instruments of music played, Everybody would bow down and worship the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had made of himself. It was a huge statue. It was 90 feet high, which is, which is as high as maybe a... Hey, somebody's back there already. You're going to have to wait. Oh, I thought you were getting... Oh, the restroom. It was as high as a nine-story building. It was huge. It was huge. It was absolutely the biggest statue ever in the history of the whole world. It was enormous. And when all the musical instruments played, everybody bowed down and worshipped the statue of Nebuchadnezzar. Except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Why do you suppose that is? Because they believe in God. What, what does that mean? What? Why? Why was that a problem that they believed in God? Either of you. Because it's because the people, the Babylon, they didn't believe in God. They didn't believe in God. That's correct. But what did God say about that? About statues and stuff like that? Never bow. In do you remember the Ten Commandments? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Commandment number two do not make idols. 
statues, and do not bow down to them. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we can't do that. We are servants of the living God. We can't bow down. And what happens when you do something like that? Somebody is always there to tell on you. Always. And these people went to Nebuchadnezzar and said, Nebuchadnezzar, there's these three guys, these Jewish guys, these Hebrew guys, that are not bowing down to your statue. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, being kind of like the principal, he calls them and he says, I want you guys to come here, now. And so they did. They came in. And Nebuchadnezzar says, what is this I hear that you will not bow down to my statue? All right, I'm going to give you a last chance. If you bow down to my statue, I'm going to have all the musicians play. If you bow down to my statue, it's going to be okay with you. But if you don't, I'm going to throw you into a fiery furnace. Now, in other words, what would happen if you got thrown into a fiery furnace? You die. You burn to ash. You die a very quick and painful death. And so, given that choice, bow down or die. And they said to the king, we're not even going to think this over, king. We're not even going to think this over. We will not bow down to your statue. It's not going to happen. And Nebuchadnezzar got mad. And he said to his servants, heat that furnace up. Heat it up seven times hotter than normal. And when it's hot, I want you to throw them in. And so they heated that furnace up. And when it got to about seven times as hot as it normally is, he said, open the door and throw them in. And the soldier, he, they tied them up. They bound them up. And the soldiers went. And as soon as they opened the door of the furnace, the blast from the heat came out of the furnace. And everybody in the room got knocked down. The soldiers that were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego died because of the blast from the furnace. They got burned up. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got thrown into that furnace and they fell down into the bottom of the furnace. Now everybody in the room had fallen down because of the blast. When you open up a, a furnace like that, this whoosh, fire comes out. That's what killed the soldiers. But everybody else, just this blast of heat, everybody fell down. And King Nebuchadnezzar gets back up and he shields his eyes. And he called his men over. He said, didn't we throw three guys in? They say, yeah, yeah, we did. Why do I see four in there? There are four men in there, and the fourth one looks like the Son of God. You see, what happened was Jesus was in the fire with them. Jesus came into the fire with them. And Nebuchadnezzar called out, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out of the furnace. They walked out. Has anybody ever played with matches? Yes. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, you're you're not going to get in trouble by saying this. Has anybody ever played with matches? You ever burn yourself? I you ever burn yourself? I you're, found it, but I moved a little bit after. I found the hook was. I found the lighter. Play with lighter. Yeah. You ever burn yourself? Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Hurts bad. I burned myself. You ever, you ever, uh, you ever burn your clothing or something like that, or maybe burn some paper? Now, listen, listen. Because I'm asking about this, doesn't mean it's okay to do it. Because it's a very dangerous thing. But you ever, you ever been near a place that's been on fire? It stinks. Doesn't, doesn't it stink? When your house is on fire and you go by the house. Back when I was in Pennsylvania, we. We went to visit an old house that I lived in when I was seven years old. And my, my best friend's brother had uh, actually he had accidentally started a fire in the house. 
and the house caught fire and they had the firefighters had to come put it out and a long long time ago but I remember I was eight years old back then and I remember the smell of the house it smelled awful it smelled terrible when Shadrach Meshach and Abednego anybody been near a campfire yes. what happens when you walk away from the campfire do you still smell like smoke yeah, it gets cold, but your clothes still smell like smoke. Yeah. Right? When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the furnace, their clothes weren't burned. Their skin wasn't burned. Their hair wasn't burned. Now, I don't know if... Can I tell you this? And please do not do this. But I have smelled burned hair, and it's the worst smelling thing you ever smelled. It is absolutely the worst. The smell of fire, not even the smell of smoke was on their clothes. The, in fact, the only thing that burned were the ropes that tied them. That's the only thing that burned was the ropes that tied them, and they came walking out of the fire. Nebuchadnezzar knew right away that the God that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego served was greater than his fiery furnace. And he made a rule right there. He says, if anybody says anything bad about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's, Abednego's God, they're going to get thrown into the fiery furnace. Yes? And the person that snitched on them got their I don't know what happened. The Bible doesn't say what happened. Now, listen. Listen to me real carefully. This didn't mean so much when I was a little kid, but it really means a lot now. That there are people that are trying to get you to do things that are against what God says. There are people that are making laws to try to get you to disobey God. Now the Bible says that we are supposed to obey the law. But I'll tell you this. That if you have a choice, if your law, if that law is going to make you disobey God, you obey God. Even if it means you have to break the law, you obey God. Now, I'm not telling anybody to break the law. I'm just saying if the law tells you to disobey God, you break the law because it's better to obey God. Now, does that mean that you, if you... If you uh, break the law obeying God, does that mean you're not going to get in trouble? Uh, guess what? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got in a whole lot of trouble. It was a miracle that saved them from dying. They got thrown in a fiery furnace that killed the guys that threw them in. God's word is above everything else. Always follow God's word. If somebody tries to get you to do something that you that is wrong, don't do it. Even if they say you got to do it, don't do it. But how do you know what God's word says? It's in here. You need to start reading your Bible. You need to start reading your Bible. Now you may not understand everything. But if you have questions, ask. Ask your parents, or if they, your parents don't know the answer, come ask me. I will gladly help you. But you got to know the Bible. You've got to know the Word of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew that it was wrong for them to bow down to anybody else but God. So I want to encourage you, get yourself the Bible. Read it, understand it, know what God says, know what God is pleased with and know what He's not pleased with. And then when you know that, if people come and they try to get you to do something that's against God's law, don't do it. Don't do it. Always follow God's law. All right, we're going to quit here. Uh, shut off my shot alarm. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all your blessings. Lord, that we would understand from the example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that your law takes priority over any other law. 
And anything that tries to get us to disobey you, that we should always obey you. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen our young people and that you would be with them and that you would go with them to their homes and be with them all week. Bring them back again, rejoicing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.